Wow, 111 divided by one plus one plus one is 37. And then so is every other digit divided by itself plus itself plus itself. Now on one level, I don't wanna ruin the fun, but on another level, I am who I am. Read the scorpion and the frog. 10, 10, 10 over 10 plus 10 plus 10 ruins the pattern. It is not 37 anymore. Now I do still think there's something cool going on here, but to understand it, let's try first to understand why was this even working out with the individual digits one through 10 a second ago. If you imagine taking some three digit number, we're gonna call it AAA, where this is not A times A times A, but a three digit number where every single digit is the digit A. And we imagine dividing this by A plus A plus A. So not the number AAA, but this time the sum A plus A plus A. We can rewrite the numerator and the denominator in a useful way. The numerator right now is the same thing as A times 111. The denominator, on the other hand, A plus A plus A is 3A. And you'll notice right now that we have an A in common on our numerator and denominator, and so we can factor that out. When we do that, it just leaves us with 111 divided by three, and guess what? 111 divided by three is 37. And so this is why when A was a single digit, we were getting 37 no matter what A was. Now, recognizing that, let's try and figure out why this doesn't keep happening when A is no longer a digit, but instead a multi-digit number like 10. The first thing to say is that the denominator is still working the way we would expect. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is indeed the same thing as 30, or what we'll write as three times 10. But in our numerator right now, the number 10, 10, 10 is not the same as 10 times 111 anymore. Instead, it happens to be the same thing as 10 times 10,101. And in fact, if we did this with any two digit number, that's exactly what we would be multiplying. So for example, if this were 6767, seven, no, I'm not gonna be that. So for example, if this were 898989, 89, 89, that would be the same thing as 89 times 10,101. Now what's interesting is that number 10,101 is still divisible by three. If we divide three into 10,101, we get 3,367. Of course, our tens here cancel out the same way the digits did a minute ago, and that is what leaves us with the answer of 3,367, the same answer for any two digit number that we do this with. If we took 42, 42, 42, and divided by 42 plus 42 plus 42, we would get 3,367.